modern membranes are basically, they've evolved to be good barriers so that cells can control the flow of all molecules in and out using complicated uh, protein machines. Um, uh, for a primitive cell, you wouldn't want a situation like that. That would be suicidal. These molecules have to let stuff get across. They have to have dynamic properties that can let them grow and equilibrate. Okay, so the, the uh, next slide is actually a movie, again prepared by Janet Iwasa, to illustrate the dynamic uh, properties of these uh, vesicles, which are so different from modern uh, membranes. And so what you can see here is, is first of all, the the motion on the surface, a lot of uh, oscillations, diffusion. Uh, in the membrane itself, these molecules, the individual molecules, are rapidly flip-flopping back and forth from inside to outside. They're constantly uh, entering the membrane, uh, leaving the membrane. So there's a lot of exchange reactions uh, that are going on on very rapid uh, timescales, on the order of a second or less. So they're very dynamic structures. And, and this, uh, these dynamic motions are also probably very important in terms of permeability. They allow the formation of transient uh, defects in the membrane which let molecules get across spontaneously without any complicated machinery. Okay. There's another uh, property of these uh, uh, vesicles which I find uh, quite fascinating. So uh, as you saw in the illustration, the molecules that make up any given vesicle uh, come and go and, and therefore exchange between vesicles on the time scale of roughly a second. In this slide what you see are two populations of vesicles that were labeled with phospholipid dyes. So they're not exchanging uh, between vesicles. The picture here was taken after about a day. And so you can see that they haven't all just fused and mixed up. There are still red vesicles and green vesicles. And yet we know from our other experiments that the molecules that make up any one of these vesicles uh, are, are changing uh, on a very rapid time scale. Yet the structures themselves maintain their identity on a time scale of weeks or months. 